Hey guys, today's story is about a Soul Eater fan. Hello everybody, this is my first post, so go easy on me. Due to the overwhelming amount of people claiming that my story is fake due to me not expressing myself and not putting it into paragraphs, I decided to rewrite the post with some more information. Thanks for understanding. A few years ago, I was getting back into D&D 5e, and I wanted to play with some of my friends. Unfortunately, I don't have very many friends. So, I could only play with this brother and sister pair that I had known since the brother and I were in the Boy Scouts together. I did a session zero with them, with a homebrew dungeon. It was supposed to be an experiment where beings from across many universes were teleported to test out teamwork. And after this, they would be transported to the main planet. I was new to DMing at the time, so this would allow me to see and test several things in order to make sure that they could have fun. The brother was very interested in the combat aspect, while the sister, who I'll call Soul, was interested in roleplay and NPC interaction. The brother made a standard human rogue, with the personality of a brick wall. However, Soul asked me a question, which threw me a curveball. Can I play as a sentient weapon? Now, to be clear, I was planning on playing normal, with the normal races and classes. But I went for it. Whatever to make my players happy. I told Soul that she could play whatever, as long as she could find some race homebrew that wasn't completely broken. She decided that it was too much work and asked for some weapon that could turn into a cute guy. A large amount of character creation time later, and we eventually had an edgy human rogue, a reskinned tiefling warlock, and a DMPC human cleric. I made a cleric so they wouldn't have to worry about dying and could have fun. They entered the dungeon and Soul immediately proved useless because she wouldn't cast a single spell and was goofing off in the background. We got through the encounter and the siblings started fighting. You see, the younger brother wanted a serious game with fighting and some roleplay to show off his cool character, while Soul made her character for the sole reason of fangirling over cute guys. And this is an actual quote from her. So next session, as nothing else of note happened in this one, they found some cool stuff, until they got to a room that was covered in plants. I was planning on a 100 by 100 room with trees, vines, and undergrowth so thick that you could barely see through the trees in front of you. They made camp, and Sol, feeling bored as there wasn't any NPC interaction apart from the kobolds, decided to shake up the game. She proclaimed that while everyone else was asleep, that she was going to pleasure herself. It got awkward, as her brother asked if he could tell that she was doing it, and he passed his perception check. I know this isn't a very big horror story for the subreddit, and it ends anticlimactically, but so does life. I'm still friends with them, but it was a very weird way of starting my DMing career. And finally, part of the reason why I teleported them was to give an excuse to give them a magic scroll that had 10,000 different random effects. Well guys, the only thing I can really say is... Ugh. But that's the end of the story, and if you liked it and would like to listen to more, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for future videos. But, as always, have a good one.